share something that actually this post is from my blog and this post is one of the most read blogs in my page, okay? I want you to listen. The title of this post is So What? So what? So what? Okay. There are days when all that's left of you is half broken smile and a dash of hope. Everything is fine until that one hint of doubt breaks through, lamenting you down as a well of bad memories. Loving the world is easy. Loving your family and friends is easy. But loving yourself requires you to think outside a well of bad memories. You need to combat them with new ones, nourish it with compassion, and plant new seeds that hopefully turn the well into a spring. The years of self-doubt eventually become a habit. We've all had bad days. I'm no stranger, believe me. But if there's one thing I've learned in all my years of being sad, it's an ability to question my moral compass. Loving yourself requires you to make a stand. Too many, too many times we're pushed and shoved with ideas. Some so strong we cannot help but believe them that knock our frequency off track. We feel guilty for things we shouldn't feel guilty for. We're angry at ourselves over things that aren't important and we stress out over things rather than simply fixing them. At some point, we need to take responsibility. How were these ideas planted? By the world or ourselves? It might take a while, but sooner or later, we all need to discover that the real culprit keeping us from loving ourselves is us. We're too afraid to love ourselves because it's, it feels selfish. Trust me, as a so-called nice guy, I thought love was something I had overstocked. I gave so much of it to the world that I knew, without a doubt, I had plenty of it left for myself. But at the end of the day, it was I who neglected myself. It's interesting what happens when we try to love the world too much. We start to think taking care of ourselves. Ourselves is a sacrifice one must make. Believe me, it's not. Would you treat someone else the same way you treat yourself? Would you speak to someone that the same way you talk about yourself? Would you hug yourself, love yourself, or kiss yourself the same way you kiss everyone else? There comes a moment when you realize that the amount of time spent tearing ourselves apart is another second wasted from putting ourselves back together. Self-compassion is something we teach ourselves. It's not something we learn in school, in Bible class, or even our parents in most cases. In a world full of loud voices, it's we who must filter away the ones that don't matter. To love is to be. Be grateful for who you are. Understand yourself. Know that in order to find your groove in this world, you must float on top of your own appreciation. If you can't love yourself, how could you ask the world to do the same? You're more than a reflection, a job, a name, a title, a boyfriend, a girlfriend. You're a light in this world with a purpose, a direction, a mind to decide what or how to get there. But most of all, you have the ability to love, so relish it.